Dom Critty. What's up, YouTubers? This is Dom Critty doing my review of the Masters of the Universe Revolution Masterverse Sorceress Tila. This figure I just ordered on Amazon. It came directly in the mail. And this is uh, based on a brand new upcoming new series on Netflix, Masters of the Universe Revolution. Not Revelation. Revolution. This is the new season. And it's coming out until early January 2024, which we got a long way to go until we got like um, two or, or like two days left until New Year's. Is coming until 2024. But anyway, I got this new figure on Amazon. And I always wanted to have another sorceress, Tila. I mean, Tila in my collection, which I have the alternative Tila, the classic Tila, and now the sorceress Tila, which we all want a sorceress Tila. Yeah. And we also know that the actor... Okay, well, we'll get to that later. So, okay, now yeah, we'll get to it now. The actress who's the voice actress, Sarah Michelle Gellar, who's voiced... Tila in the first season of Massive Universe, she did for Revelation, but she's no longer returning for the new season, but it's going to be replaced by the Supergirl actress, Melissa Benoist, that's Christopher Wood's wife, which you know him, he's voicing He-Man, and she's also now voicing Tila, which actually makes sense because both of them are officially married. So we have is the sorceress Tila and the beautiful artwork right there. And aside, we have is the, her mother, the sorceress. And on the side, we got the cool artwork of the sorceress and sorceress Tila. I mean, oh, and there's a scuff right there. Oh my god, that looks awful. Oh, and the back we have is a picture of the figures and stuff like that. And the bio right there, if you'd like to read that, go ahead and feel free to pause. And other figures in this way we have is the sorceress Tila, which we have now. We have man in arms, her her daddy. Trapjaw, the new Eternian Trapjaw, and also Skeletech, which I might get him pretty soon. All right, like, all right, let's get this new sorceress out of the package. And here we have the new sorceress Tila outside the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure, which I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, this figure kind of looks like she just jumped right out of the cartoon. And this looks so phenomenal, this figure looks the color did a good job with this, and I gotta say, this looks like she just uh, appeared from the part two of Revelation, Revel Revel Revelation, right? Okay, Revelation, not Revolution, because she will be in Revolution. So, um, I think there is some sort of nitpick, though. There's a little bit of fur underneath there. Okay, underneath her arm, I guess. I like her headpiece looks pretty much different from her mother's. And I love this dress that the material they gave her. Oh, she's wearing white. Oh, cool. Nice boots she's wearing. She actually is her mother's new replacement. And that sort of way. And I love the, the cape. Is, it's really good. It's really nice. I love the material so much. And looks, they did a pretty good job. Mattel, nice job. And I am looking forward to watching Massive Universe Revolution. When it comes on. I don't know when. Alright, so accessory she comes with is this power... Uh, her scepter, which uh, the sorceress uses. But you can fit right. She only had like two grip hands, but she doesn't have no fist hands. You can just fit this in her hand and just fit right nice and tight just like that. Um, also, you they, she has like open hands, like she can only use like magic and stuff like that. So you can just switch out the hands like this and just pop it on with this one. They do like fit really nice and tight, just like that. And above all, I'm pretty much digging it. Like this is the uh, sorceress Tila. This is actually her mother's replacement because she is the new sorceress of Castle Grey Skull. All right, let's do a comparison with the Sorceress Tila and the rest of the Masters of the Universe uh, Revelation and the Masterverse figures, I'm sorry to say. Here's a comparison with the Sorceress Tila standing next to alongside with He-Man, Prince Adam, and Man in Arms. As you can see, she's pretty much shorter than, than them, and I th think that Prince Adam could have been a lot shorter than her, but it is what it is. 
And here we have the Sorceress Tila next to alongside with the classic Tila, alternative Tila, and also her mother, the Sorceress Tila Na. And above all, I have here is all three of the Tilas we got here. And one of my favorite could be these two because they're my most favorite, except this one because I don't like the outfit and I don't like the haircut, but I don't know why I bought it. So let's do a comparison with Tila and the Sorceress. As you can see, um, oh, there's hair on there. Oops, sorry. And as you can see that they look pretty much good together, if you ask me. And here we have is Skeletor, Dark Sorceress, Evelyn, and Beastman. And the last, but certainly not least, Battle Cat. And for the articulation, her head can look up that much. Well, it can look down, can pivot from side to side, all the way around 360 right there. But it, the hair is like a hard plastic, but it can hinder the articulation, but I'll warm it up with some water, or hot water or heat or anything. Arms do go in now, can go all the way around 360. Well, I can't do that because the, the shoulder pad is in the way. So she's got a bicep swivel. She's got double jointed elbows. A wrist hinge and a wrist swivel right there. She has a diaphragm joint and the crunch right there. Legs can kick forward and can kick back. Can do the splits. Got a thigh cut swivel. Does she have a waist swivel? Oh, okay, maybe I'm not. Yeah, we have thigh cut swivel. We have double jointed knees. Boot cut swivel. We have a feet hinge. And of course, the ankle pivots. Okay, that about wraps up my reveal. So overall, I love the figure so much, and I really dig it so good, and I think it's going to look good with the rest of my collection of Master of the Universe, Masterverse figures, and which I'll be waiting for the She-Ra line to come out, out, and the Revolution line that will be coming out very soon. But overall, it's a pretty much awesome figure, and I am looking forward to watch uh, Master of the Universe Revolution that's streaming on Netflix until 2024. So, anyway, if you guys like this video, give it a video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below what you think, subscribe to my channel, think about every videos I upload, also share this video to your friends and family, and also follow me on Instagram. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a happy new year, and above all, see you all next time. Take care.